Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video for you guys. Welcome to Rickfast Day 3. We made it three days in a row. I'm keeping it up. We're gonna have a new video every day until Christmas. Today I have a little review on this wig as well as like a mini tutorial on how I achieved this color, which was an accident. Go figure. Nothing in my life ever goes right. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about this hair, the dyeing process, how I got to this color. It's like a grayish, purpley, ashy, blonde storm color and I'm living for it. Like, living. I love it. So yeah, let me stop rambling. Let's just get right into the video. Okay, so this wig, now, I was in the beauty supply store buying the crochet hair from my high ponytail video. If you guys haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that. And I bought this Brazilian Secret 100%, come on, focus. So I have this Brazilian Secret 100% Remy Human Hair blended wig. Now, I didn't see the blended part. Like, I just saw the wig sitting over there and it's 613 glory and i was like hmm that's a blonde decent length wig for like 60 dollars like maybe i should buy that and do a video but at that point i thought that this was human hair like i thought it was remy hair like i thought it was pack hair and i wasn't really paying attention to the box i kind of just picked it up on my way of picking up all the stuff that i don't need at the beauty supply store and this was one of them <laughs> and i picked this up and i got home and i read the box and i was like oh fudge it's a human hair blend that means it's synthetic. That means it has synthetic fibers mixed in with the human hairs. So like it's probably like 2% human, 98% synthetic. So then I was like, how am I going to dye this hair? So I did some research and a lot of people use the RIT dye and this is where things got stupid. So I was in Walmart and I was like, hmm, let me look for the dye that people have been using in their videos to dye their synthetic wigs. And obviously, they've been using the RIT dye, and it didn't occur to me that there was more than one RIT dye. My dumb picked the RIT dye, I guess, for just like regular fabric, like cotton, poly, that kind of stuff. What I should have gotten was the fabric dye for synthetic fibers, right? So... I did the whole dyeing process, I did the watercolor method, the hot water, I dipped the wig, and as you guys can see, I'll have the footage here or here, I dipped the wig and the color wasn't taking, I'm like, what is the problem, what is the issue? So I let the hair sit, maybe for 15 minutes or so, and I checked it again, it wasn't taking. So I'm like, maybe I didn't add enough dye, so I continued to add dye, I added the whole bottle before I realized... Why isn't this working? <laughs> so I went back to the video of the girl that I watched. I'll have it linked down below if I could find it. She did a really nice, like, pink, reddish kind of color. And then I realized that she was using the RIT dye specifically for synthetic fibers. And I was like, oh, fudge. So I went to the RIT dye that I bought, and I read the back of it, and it specifically states not for use on synthetic fibers. So I'm like, well, that's why it's not taking. This was a waste of my time. So then I went to Michael's because I'm like, they're going to have everything. Michael's is going to have all the different kind of dyes that I need to see to choose between. So I go to Michael's and I see all the different dyes that they have. They have the synthetic dye. They have the regular dye. They have like all these different brands. And I'm like, bet I'm getting the same dye, same color, just in the synthetic fiber version. Long story short, I do the whole dyeing process all over again. I'm like, it's about to work. It's about to be lit. This wig is going to be purple because you guys voted for purple. And it's just like, I dip the hair. I let it sit. And I'm like, it's going to work. So I walked away from it. I just was going to let it soak, get all the color. And I come back. I pull the wig out. And it doesn't look any different. All it did was tone the hair to this ashy kind of platinum blonde and it did come in 613 so it was very very yellow and it did not look right on me but this ashier color I can get with it I can definitely get with it as you can see I've 
washed his hair two times already and it's not super knotty it's not super tangly at this point i don't know if it's synthetic or if it's human like i really don't know it doesn't feel like virgin hair definitely but it doesn't necessarily feel like synthetic hair either so girl i don't know i think it's synthetic though but it just doesn't feel like it and normally i wouldn't wear synthetic wigs but the prices on those 613 human hair wigs are out of my tax bracket okay so if any company is watching this and wants to send me a 613 wig i would really appreciate it because i just cannot afford okay i cannot afford <laughs> how do you guys like this color i actually really really am enjoying it and i can't stop touching it because i'm like trying to get used to myself with this wig on i kind of plucked the front of the hairline a little bit i don't want to get too close so y'all could clock me but it's not so bad, not too shabby for a beauty supply store or lace wig. Like, come on. It's not that bad. Added a little baby hair or two. What do you guys think I should do? Should I attempt to dye this hair purple again and see if I can get it to work? Or should I keep this, like, platinum vibe going and dye one of my other virgin hair wigs purple? Because I think I should keep her in my collection. She, she's cute. She's special. <laughs> like... This is definitely like, probably should have been a Halloween vibe. I could have definitely did a storm tutorial with this wig, but I'm late. I'm stale and late. I just wanted to come to you guys and talk to you guys a little bit about this because whenever I do something and it's a fail, I want to let y'all know because why not? Let me know if you guys like this look down in the comments down below. Also, let me know what color you want me to do next. I'm open to trying a bunch of different colors. I usually do polls on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me on my social medias. I'll have them linked on the screen. I normally do a poll on my Insta story asking you guys what color, what this, what that. So if I have any questions, I always do it there. My last poll was purple versus pink, and it was overwhelmingly voted for purple, so I'm going to have to give that to you guys eventually. Maybe later on this week. I will see. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one. Bye.